garners just kind of its own little creature within itself. It's unique compared to any other part. There's something magical about it. Located on the southern edge of the hill country, Garner State Park is one of the most popular destinations in the state, and there are lots of reasons why. There's the Frio River. There's camping. It's got a king-size bed on one end, queen-size bed on the other. There's hiking. We made it. And then there's the nightly dances. We may have 400 people on that dance floor. It's a pretty amazing sight. Only at Garner. Garner was built in the 1930s by the Civilian Conservation Corps. It opened as a state park in 1941, and generations of Texans have been coming here ever since. My parents started bringing me here when I was a little kid in 1946. I got a four-year-old grandson that's here, and he loves it. That's all he talks about, coming to Garner. Well, right now during the summer, it's probably one of the busiest places in Texas. If you don't believe it, just try getting in on a holiday weekend. How many we got? Uh, just for the day? Uh, I think Memorial Weekend. There you go. The line was probably half a mile long. $70 is your change. $2 is your change, sir. There's a lot of folks here. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. But beyond the summertime crowds, there is a softer, quieter side to the park. Early mornings, and really the off season after the summer, it's unbelievable how different this park is. You know, in the fall, if you go up on Baldy, you can see the complete outline of the river because of the, the bald cypress trees when they turn colors. It's my favorite time of year. Well, there's three types of skunks here in the park. Not only is there a lot to see at Garner, there's a lot to hear, like park interpreter Frank Roberts. It's called a striped skunk. He's a walking book of knowledge when it comes to the park. And not only that, he's entertaining. Frank is known around these parts as the singing park ranger. And the night riders crowding them onto the trail. So I was going to use that as a history lesson of Western heritage. So that's when I started performing cowboy songs, cowboy poetry. And the skies are not cloudy all day. Thank you. No, I need a marshmallow. There's so many things that a family can do here. They know they can come here and they can have the best time of their lives.